What's up, Weed Stunner? Thanks for the follow. Really appreciate it. Just messing around. Chatting with viewers. So. Garlic bread. Reference. Oh, we should name it garlic bread. That'd be. I just be like. Garlic bread. Uh, cut out. Hold on, let me meet. Um, okay, so what are we what are we gonna do? Oh what we're gonna do. I don't know if you like house music. One forty five. Hang with me. Probably not going to be able to. Very yelling up. Oh. 
Alright, I think I got it. quantizing.
time for science. My dawn is itching. Don't rock me, baby. Baby, won't you rock my heart? Trying to get the right tone. I'm not even making a
What's up, dancing stage girl? everybody is uh always hand quantized I feel like it works oh you can't hear me yeah cuz I have the music on. um I said uh if you're ever writing music always hand quantized find that it works the best for me You think you're death? How about that? Is that better? drums what did you no. I like to put a lot of a uh, question in Hardly hear me when I have it going, but if I stop coming back, that's the main point. Is just down more. That help. Mike is all the way. Okay, well now it's all the way up. Maybe. Hold on. I can turn my mic. And does that fix it? Is that better? Well, now it's clipping. <laughs> yeah. I have I have so many like switches and dials all over. Hmm. 
freaking wrong camera. Here, hold on. The game. Yeah, so I have all these switches and dials done here on my mixers and my uh, equipment. So it's like I have way too much to manage. So, I don't know, maybe some piano or something? I have to do some organization really quick, so let me see. I'll pop in here. Tracks. We'll do that, and then we can go. This is like Black Magic to you. You use FL Studio. Uh, I used to use that. I, I just don't like it as much. Ableton's like the industry standard for um, production. I, I believe like the top... I believe like the top three production softwares are like... Ableton, FL, and Logic. And Ableton has been around forever, so it's like an industry standard. I used to use it for rock and roll music. Got that, we got this. This is gonna be our subgroup. Subgroup. Um, I believe FL was like early 2000s. Ableton was like 90s. But FL, I do have to say, has a more easier, it's more easier to understand for beginners and, and stuff like that. So, started with FL5. That's a long time ago. Piano roll is better. Um, yeah, I kind of like the piano roll in FL. Um, piano roll has been improved. Um, Ableton has this thing though where you can't uh, where you can't copy and paste MIDI, which when I first started using Ableton annoyed the shit out of me. I can duplicate, but I can't copy. or paste. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay, what's a good color? Just give me any color. Any color. Blue. You can pick from any of these colors. Which blue do you like? Light blue. This one? Like ocean. This one. Okay, 
or the ocean. Drums will be up there. Vocals will be purple. Um, pianos and chords. Okay, what color for piano and chord? Thinking. Oh. Like. Yellow? Well, normally, normally I would save yellow for like. Cause it's a weirdish in Ableton. It's a weird color, but like, uh, hold on a second. Well, the bright yellows are good for that. We can maybe use a bright yellow, but hold on. MIDI group track. We'll need an effects chain as well. So we can do. Um, FX, but for piano and stuff, we're going to need a light. You want to do like a bright yellow like that, or we can do a, like a green for piano. But I think that looks weird for piano. What do you think? Go with yellow? Okay. You do like a light, like a greenish yellow. That would look cool. Piano and chords. Didn't mean to press play. Okay, this will be our Pattern one. Pattern one. This is why I like organization. Pattern one. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. You're still uh, learning to organize your projects? Yeah. Yeah. I sometimes do... Uh, I'm thinking about starting a tutorial series on, like, uh, my YouTube channel. I have a couple old tutorials, but, like, I have a... Uh, hold on a second. Here. Look, look at this shit. Yeah, this is this is gonna be highly embarrassing. These are all old. Many already doing it. Yeah. This is gonna be embarrassing. Here. I'm gonna show you. This is what I used to use, and I have a lot of tutorials on this. This is my, uh, started with a long time ago. It's called Machine. Let me just quickly save this file. In fact, I can show you some other projects if you'd like. But let me save this one first. 
Um, I don't know. Helmet hair. Sure. <laughs> You don't want to show your old projects? They're too bad. Oh, you're about to see a next level of bad. They probably have a lot of missing plugins and samples. Because, like, I can't figure out for the life of me where I put those samples or I put those uh plugins. This was a long time ago. Yeah. You know, the one thing I wish, and I'm, if someone's not going to do it, I'm going to invent it. But there needs to be a way to sync a laptop with your doll and your computer. So you can just carry around a laptop to work on music and then pull out a flash drive off your computer, put it into your laptop, and you have all your samples and everything, all your locations are the same. You just pull it out of your laptop, plug it into your computer, and your doll knows exactly where everything is. So both your laptop and your doll can share the same plugins and everything else. And I that's my that's my dream. And if someone's not gonna do it, I am inventing. There's stuff like that though. Um yeah, but there's nothing like big enough. Like I, that's what I'm using right now. I'm actually using a flash drive with all my VSTs loaded onto it. All my project files. And I use the same thing for my mixers when I'm doing DJ sets. Um, I just have everything on that flash drive and I just transfer it to my laptop. The um, downsides is, is that sometimes it just doesn't work. Where it's missing the samples and it says blah, 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 blah. But like... One way or another, I'm going to get Ableton to be able to do that. So I get to transfer it into my laptop. I don't even know what this is. Hold on. Oh, yes. I remember this. Okay. these are. This is the type of music I make. I make a lot of future bass, dubstep, and then uh, I have a side project called TM Glitch After Dark, which is like club and house music. Like very chill stuff. So this is the type of stuff I make. Hold on. I just realized it's not even going through. Because I have to change my audio to... You're a house girl? Uh, what genre of house, specifically? Oh. Give me a quick second. My food order is here, but I'm going to have someone get it for me. And I'm going to put it and eat it later because I am enjoying this right now. All right, well, I will do a live review right now. Let's see. Oh, my God. This is this is actually uh summer vibes. Hold on. Might be just a coincidence. Might be a coincidence, I'm not sure. I should enjoy my food. Um, well I ate earlier, but 
I'm not that hungry. Normally I don't eat at all. I only eat once a day. I'm really not that hungry. I'm just... I eat when I'm bored. <laughs> this might just be a coincidence. But like... It's like a total coincidence. <laughs> All right. I like this. This is good. Reminds me a lot like the uh, stuff I used to make in like Dead Mouse and stuff. Because originally I was a house guy. You're working on something big. Mm. I've been working on some big stuff too. But it's like really hard because it's hard to get uh things. Like I have a problem. I get writer's block and burnt out really, really easily. So I'll make a bunch of tracks. But I, they just sit unfinished. And I can show you because I like giving exclusive uh, views into my next releases. But. Hey. You know what would be interesting? Maybe at some point, if you'd be interested, we could work together on a song. Have any others? Uh, melodic dubstep.
Hmm. Interesting. That was actually pretty good. I yeah, see this is the stuff. Uh... That's this right here, isn't it? Hmm. Nice. Is that what your setup looks like? <laughs> um, I do have Discord. In fact, in the chat above, there should be a link. Do a Discord thing. Um. Okay, you can put it in the chat. Here's uh. You want to hear? This is one of my first songs. Hold on. Give me a minute. I'm going to join it really quick. It's not me singing.
All right. Back to what I was doing before, which was showing you my horrible, horrible attempts at making music. So, let me pull it up. Okay. For some reason, it is not wanting to play out my or my thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into preferences. These are all IDs, by the way. Um, exclusive, maybe? Let me crash. Ooh, it's not gonna crash good. Um question is, is it gonna actually output anything? Hmm. I haven't used this software in years. How the hell? Output audio. This shouldn't be this hard. I might have to look at this again. Oof. Yeah, big oof. This may not work. I'm going to try one more thing. Output. In left and right. Field tab. Okay. Um, FL does have a ASI. Oh, man. ASI mean. Yeah, it does. Let me try the L. This one then. Yay. All right. This, these are like years old.
Oh, Arbitura. Oh, I released this one, but then I took it back. Oh. Crash. <laughs> oh, it's good. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of these are just trash. Obviously, we're missing samples in that one. Impressive. I don't even know. All these are just random projects. Yeah, I used to be a house guy. I still have a little bit of it in me. Like, I have some new house projects that I'm mixing with some new stuff. Um. This one. Yeah. Listen to Dirty Bird a lot, like Dirty Bird records. Yeah, I might do one or two more of these because I want to get to my newer stuff.
I'm probably going to do one or two more. Because I want to get to the new stuff. Because it's all just embarrassing. Okay. Oh my god, stream elements. I'm going to have to turn that off. <laughs> Partials. Oh my god, how many of these are missing? Samples. Literally every single one. Saviors. Now I do stuff that's like a bit better. Well, a lot better, I should say. This is my newer stuff. This is this is my my newest attempt at like house and stuff. We do progress as time goes on, yeah. This is so these ones that I'm showing you now are going to be on my debut album. I've done EPs and I'm going to continue to do EPs, but I'm the these are part of the album. Um, this one's an unfinished one, but. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Yeah. It's in here. Hmm. Well, here's another house one. But a lot of these are just like loops right now. They're like unfinished. Um, there's a remix. Um, I don't know if you know who Ice Peak is, but Ice Peak. Um, it's unfinished. A lot of these are like loops because they're kind of just ideas and I haven't really finished them. Then there's some that are actually almost complete. Like, for example, this one. This one's complete. I've been sitting on this one for a long time. I don't know if it's ever going to get released, though. This one, I don't know if you know Dog Blood. Um, Dog Blood. My my stuff my stuff is so much heavier. One what you started with is heavier than this, or this. Oh, I I didn't read the end. Your stuff's so much heavier now. Yeah. I perfected bases.
I like the second drop. Like, um, this is the album art for the, the album, which I, I really like this album art. But then my next EP, this is the album art. I had someone hand draw that. And these are the ones for the EP. Let's start with this one. A lot of my songs sound really similar. This one is almost complete. It just needs uh, vocals in the drop. But everything else is done. Got uh, another one. This one's called the It's named after a city. Thank you. 
That was a quick one. Um, then we have this one, which is also on the EP. Now I've gotten into organizing all of my stuff instead of just having different channels. <laughs> this one I worked on on a previous live stream. Um, Still not finished. Is this matching the key? Um, the vocals? Yeah, they should be matching the key. I, um, did some auto-tuning to it. But, the way I do my vocals is different. I don't think many people do it this way. So, this vocal... This vocal. Take everything off. Everything. Sounds like this. But now if I remove this, remove modulator. Turn the pitch down to the normal. <laughs> That's what it, the original. And then I do undo that. Undo that. Push this back on here. Do that. But then it's way too loud and it's like in your ears and it hurts. So, gotta put a filter on it. Put some reverb. And then for some stereo effect, you just add an auto pan to it. Well, actually, I didn't do the, the this chain is a chain I got from Excellent Sound because I like um, one of their videos where they process the vocals a certain way. So I got uh, a hold of one of their chains, slapped it on here, turned off the vocoder. Um, left, left the th left the three uh, effects, and then I added some effects onto it. I uh, use waves. I use auto tune. Um, I used to use. I think it's called Melda Audio Pitch. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's the one that Dead Mouse uses. But a lot of my vocals are done on uh, this way. Any vocal chop that you hear is done exactly like this. 
all my songs had the same way of doing vocals. And I am highly aware, because multiple people have told me that the piano really doesn't go with the vocals, but I kind of want the vocals to be a little bit different and stand out from the piano, because that's just the style of this song in particular. Normally I would have a match up, but like... Yeah, I mean, it wasn't intentional, but then I, I couldn't get them to match up, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do some more vocal chopping, because originally it was the entire vocal was like a really low pitch. <laughs> it was like a really low pitch, and it wasn't high pitch and squeaky, so then I decided, you know what? Let's make them stand out. I love this part that I found. This is like my favorite little chop I added. It's like from a, a heavy metal song. Add some reverb. Oh my god, it sounds so good. Still a work in progress. And then there's this one, which now I think I fa finally found my, my sound, which is vocal chopping, like this sort of stuff. Because this was actually, believe it or not, this one was my first Ableton release. All the, my first Ableton song. Then uh, this one is actually 
also on the well it's loading up now is also on that EP that riser that riser is coming out a little bit too hot but anyway back to what i was doing i don't know how i got so sidetracked what did i oh my air that's heavy your ear hurts yeah that riser i don't know what it is with that riser every single time i save it and I fix that high squeak every time I save it and I go back the next time, it's not there anymore. All the stuff that I did to fix it is gone. I'm not sure if it's a bug with the latest update of Ableton, but like some of my projects, I'll do stuff. And then the next time I go back after I save it, it's gone. And I've been getting blue screens and stuff. So I'm trying to figure out if it's my PC finally telling me I need to upgrade to some new hardware because it's been about three years since I've done an upgrade or if it's like my Ableton being weird I don't know this is what we have for this track because I'm gonna have to a minute or two I'm gonna have to start laying it out um How to check out the Ableton and also upgrade the PC. What do you mean? Oh, you would have to check out Ableton. Yeah. Ableton is good. My PC is, um... Core i7, 8700K, it's overclocked. Uh, GTX 1070Ti Turbo. So, that's overclocked as well. Um, 16 gigs RAM. 16 terabytes of storage. It's liquid cooled as well, so I don't know. And these vocals are done the exact same way. Move this like that. You have a similar PC? Similar PC? Yeah. Okay, so piano. This is the fun part. Now, I don't know how to play the piano, surprisingly. The only thing I am trained to actually play, and I've been trained professionally, are drums. 
So, piano. I'm not very good at it. I don't know anything about it. All I know is that if I hit three certain keys, it makes a, it makes a chord. So, that's all I know. And my cheat is that I literally almost always use the black keys. that one up. Mm, that might be a good idea. Maybe we could work on a track you could feature. Or I could feature or something. Work something out. Share techniques. Anything. So. Let's mute these vocals. While I figure out what to do with them. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Too short. Way too short. This is what I'm talking about. Nice. So is it is the track like a like a like you're gonna release it on your own or are you gonna release it on a record label? It's a competition track. Ah. experiences oh nice that's it that's a cool thing i've seen a lot of competitions like that um generally i've made ids um i've had record labels come to me and want to get some of my music but it always falls through in the end there's always like some reason that they just are like, no. Whether it be before, I think my last time I tried to get a, a label was uh, a couple months ago. And they told me that my social media needed to be professionally managed. Which rubbed me a little bit the wrong way. But I ended up doing what they said and I got someone to do it. 
And then they ended up saying, uh, well, we talked. We decided not to go through with it. Exactly. So what I've done, I've done this on my own initiative. I've done this. I've started my own sort of label. And currently we just have three artists. Me. We have a rapper named Lost Mine. He hasn't really put out any music yet. But uh, I'm helping him produce his first album. And then there's Digital Threat, which is basically a, a group of people, including me that are producing tracks and so far we mostly just have my releases we have one or two of other people yeah i'll definitely let you know um basically what we do is i have a distribution thing um so i help people buy if they don't want to get distribution or whatever i'll distribute it for them and help them kind of get up there and get started and then when big record labels or more record labels see their music then basically it, I just basically give them a little boost to help them start getting their music out there because I mean dealing with record labels is, is just completely shit Is that a is that a, a Rory I hear? Oh, and mixing, definitely. I am not a very good mixer or master, so I would definitely be consoling you when I need help, or I'll or I'll go to some YouTube video or something. I don't know. I have no idea. Mm. Again, this stream isn't really about making a song. It's just about uh, messing around. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that would be extremely. I have no idea what. But I'm kind of feeling like I want to throw some OT vocals. Side chaining is also. I just crank the side chaining. Gosh, this stupid text to speech to speech. Blah, blah, blah. This stupid speech to text. I don't think you can understand much, do you? Um, I do. I can understand. Um, I talk to people who don't speak English, so I can understand if words are a little bit out of place. Oh. Rory. Shoot. 
Enter. 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 It's the autocorrect that is the problem. Yep. You're speaking to the phone, yeah. I speak to my phone. I don't know. How long have I been streaming? I've been streaming for an hour. I think I might go a little bit longer. Hello? What's up, Rory? You alright? Yeah, how you doing? We're just loading on um, multiplayer for truck. Your trucking, European trucking simulator. Nice, nice. Yeah, play a bit of online on that and then. Yeah. I've yeah. been playing all day, really. It's not yeah. much to do. Alright, well, uh, dancing on Stage Girl, I think. Or dancing Stage Girl. I guess I will. I might pop in and watch your stream in a little bit if you're streaming. But I think I'm gonna go for right now, because. I have some other stuff to get done today, and normally in my mm -hmm. studio sessions are about two hours a day. So, yeah, yeah. I will see you a little bit later, Stage Girl.